Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Ali. Today I'm going to be doing a DIY quarantine crafts type of video. Basically, we did a huge declutter of our entire house. We've been staying home. I think this is week four that we have been staying home and we're trying to be as productive as possible. So we did a huge, and I mean huge, deep declutter of our entire basement. We rented out a, not a trailer, but a dumpster. We rented out a dumpster and filled it to the brim. Throughout that whole process, I realized how much random arts and crafts supplies I have in our storage room. So I thought today would just be a fun day. What a better time in the world right now to just do some at-home arts and crafts. These are going to be very, very random. You might have some of these items in your house as well. You might be like me and be a arts and crafts hoarder and you might have a lot of these items as well. If you want to try any of these out and you don't have the supplies, I would suggest Amazon. I know that Amazon is doing priority right now where they're shipping out essentials first and then they will get to the non-essential items next. Personally, I've been ordering from Amazon a ton and it says it's not gonna ship out for like three weeks and I personally have been getting it within two to four days. So that is just my experience. I know that they're shipping out essentials first, but I have been getting all the things that I have been ordering off of Amazon very quickly, if not exact same timeline as I was before. So if you would like to test any of these out and you don't want to go to the store, which I really encourage you not to go to the store right now, just stay home as much as possible until this pandemic is over with, which is hopefully sooner than later. Definitely try out Amazon, Target, Walmart, any type of store that you can ship right to your home. With all that being said, I really hope that everybody is just well and healthy and happy. I'm sending you all lots and lots of virtual hugs and positive vibes. I'm praying that everybody is in a good mental state right now, physical state and emotional state. And if not, know that you are not alone and this is just a small little season and hopefully it will pass. Hopefully this video will just be a very easy video to watch to kind of take your mind off of things and give you some ideas of things that you can do at your house right now. If you have any other suggestions of arts and crafts things or anything that people can do right now in quarantine, just leave them in the comments. I know I would like to read upon them and I'm pretty sure people watching this video would love a plethora of ideas of what to do while we are staying home. If you have any other questions or concerns, make sure to ask them in the comments below. And without further ado, let's get on into it. What was this? One of my favorite things to do during this whole social distancing situation is to be resourceful and to repurpose items that I would have otherwise thrown away. I found this pack of super bright and colorful popsicle sticks while we were decluttering. I was tempted to throw them away at first, but I did not want to be wasteful. So I asked myself, what could I use these popsicle sticks for? And I decided to make a little hanging structure. I just hot glued all of them together until I got a little square structure that was just about, if I'm guesstimating, six inches tall. And it looks really, really nice. I'm really glad that I decided to be creative with this one rather than just throw it away. When I was satisfied with the way that the structure looked, I took it out to my garage and I decided to spray paint it gold. It gives it just a little bit more of a modern touch and it isn't so bright and bold and screaming colorful in your face, which I personally like. I have a lot of gold accents in my living room where I'm planning on putting this and I just think it looks really adorable. So I spray painted it in the garage, allowed it to completely breathe and dry. And then I took it into my dining room and hung it up on one of the nails that we have on our wall. I took this cute little unicorn succulent and I stuck it right in the middle. And honestly, it's so cute. And it was very therapeutic to create, wasted a lot of time, kept my mind off of things. And it was just really fun. When it comes to decorating your house, there is no better subscription service out there than Deco Created. Today's video is in partnership with Deco Created. I'm going to link all their information in the description below, along with a coupon code for you to save some money off of your very first box. Today I'm going to be sharing everything that comes inside of the Spring 2020 box. 
Well, you might be asking yourself, what is DecoCreated? DecoCreated is a company that is going to curate unique items to keep your home feeling cozy, on trend, and perfectly you. Then they send them right to your doorstep every three months. You're going to get a box for every single season. Every season, they're going to send you a limited edition box that contains timeless, high quality decor for your house, your home, or any space that you have. You can subscribe quarterly or annually, and you can cancel any time hassle-free. The Spring 2020 box comes with seven pieces. Spring has officially sprung, and the decorated 2020 box is the perfect way to welcome this delightful season. With a trendy palette and gold accents, this collection will ease your transition from winter to spring. Something really incredible about this company that you should know and something that is very near and dear to my heart, every single box they send out, they feature an artist. The artist that is featured for the 2020 spring box is Kelly McCurr. Kelly believes that color is the most important element in her work and she creates art through experimentation without restriction. If you want to learn a little bit more about her, you can head to their website where they have a whole blurb honoring and celebrating Kelly McCurr. Deco created supporting local artists from around the country and bringing them straight to your home will really ensure that you have one-of-a-kind pieces that cannot be found at your big chain retailers. Again, something that is very near and dear to my heart. I love supporting local artists. Inside of every single one of your boxes, you're going to receive a pamphlet, the little booklet that I shared at the beginning of this clip. It is a great resource for those that need just a little bit more inspiration on how to decorate with each of the items. DecoCreated also provides different ways to style the collection and also includes some tips and tricks for some of the items. Each box costs $79.99, but again, if you use the code in the description, if you are dividing the cost of the box per item equally, it means you are paying less than $10 per item. Less than $10 per item. The cool thing about this service is that yes, everybody is getting the same items, but no, not everybody's homes are going to look the same. As you all know, not everybody decorates the same and everyone has a very unique style. Stores sell relatively the same items throughout the nation and especially throughout the region. So individuality is displayed in the ways that you layer your rooms and not decided by the actual item itself. The last thing I want to mention about DecoCreated, they have launched three communities for their subscribers. It gives everyone that subscribes a connection to a community that shares the same love of decor that they do. The Deco Creators is a community that showcases how people use their products in their homes. The Deco Hacks are for those who love a good DIY project, like turning pieces into their own. And finally, the Marketplace is a great place to buy, trade, and sell any item. Thank you so much again to DecoCreated for sponsoring this video and for curating such beautiful boxes. Make sure to check out the description if you're interested in trying them out for yourself. Tie-dyeing is just so much fun and it is a great distractor. I have this sweater that I got from Allison Bickerstaff's merch. I love it, but unfortunately I wore it while I was decluttering our basement and I was very tempted to throw it away because I destroyed it during the process into the dumpster. And then I thought, you know what? Let's tie-dye it and give it a second life. And I'm really glad that I did. If you're unfamiliar with tie-dyeing, there are a ton of different tutorials online on how to make these specific patterns. I just kind of go ham with it and just create whatever I want. I'm just taking some rubber bands and I'm tying them and twisting the actual fabric a bunch of different times. Then I took some purple and some pink tie-dye that I also found while decluttering our basement. And again, I'm just going crazy with it. I don't think that there should be rules when you are tie-dyeing. You should just have fun with it. So I did the front and I did the back and then I put it into a bag so it could soak up for several hours. It is best if you let this soak overnight. Yes, I forgot to mention that before you start tie-dyeing the fabric, whether it's a shirt, shorts, t-shirt, whatever it is, sweater, shoes, it should be slightly damp. So make sure that it's not sopping wet, but it is slightly damp. I just ran mine underneath the faucet and then I squeezed out the excess water. Okay, back to the tie-dyeing. This is 
several, several hours later, I'm taking all of the rubber bands off and then I'm just washing it underneath the water, squeezing out all the excess dye. And then I just keep squeezing until the water comes out clear. And then I threw it into the dryer to completely dry. Talk about a glow up. Prior to tie dyeing the sweatshirt, it was like 50 shades of dirty no matter how many times I threw it in the wash and dried it. It still looked dingy because of the decluttering process. And now, look at her. She's cute. She's real cute. I feel like this is something that you could find in department stores or trendy little local shops. Tie dyeing is super, super trendy right now. And it was just really fun to take something that I thought I was going to throw away. I thought was completely done and over with. And again, give it a new life. Now I love this sweater even more. And the sweater itself was really inexpensive. So it's just, it's just a win on all accounts. I saw this project on Pinterest like three years ago. I always wanted to try it and now I have no excuse not to. You take some plastic spoons. I'm sure you could use forks as well, but the pin was using spoons and you snap off the actual spoon from the handle and then separate the two. This actually worked out perfectly for me because I'm trying to use up the plastic cutlery that I have in my house because I'm trying not to use it as much anymore. Then you just take a circular object. I'm using an embroidery hoop and you hot glue the spoon onto the embroidery hoop as shown right here. This was actually kind of time consuming, which was perfect because I have all the time in the world right now. So I threw on some country music. I put on the Luke Bryan Pandora playlist. This probably took maybe about 30, 35 minutes total. And I just jammed out while I was putting all of these spoons on my embroidery hoop. I did add the handles in, as you'll see in the next clip. The pin said it was optional. I personally think that if I was to do this in the future again, I wouldn't add the handles. It does add a contrast of texture, but I think I like the way that it looks with just the spoons a little bit more. Once your structure is complete, just take it out into a well-ventilated area and spray paint it the color of your choice. I chose teal. I'm kind of digging this, kind of feeling this hard. I am so glad that I decided to revisit this pin several years later. I'm using mine more as a wreath, but you can always add a picture in the background and use it as a picture frame. You could put a mirror in the background, use it as a mirror. The possibilities are endless. I highly, highly, highly suggest during this time at home, you try to practice at least one de-stressor activity. My personal favorite as of recently has been adult coloring books. This super cute Disney one is from by Jamie Rose. I will tag her in the description. She does all of these homemade adult coloring books and I have fun just working on these for like 20-25 minutes a night after work, work from home, after we put Landon down which is my son, after we have dinner. I love just sitting in our dining room for about 20-25 to 25 minutes and just playing around with different colors. It is super therapeutic and it is just a very calming experience for me. I don't finish it all in one night. Like I said, I do about 20-25 minutes a night and it is just some me time to reflect and decompress from the day. There are so many therapeutic de-stressor activities out there if adult coloring books is not for you. You could try puzzles, you can try sudokus, you can try crosswords, you can try word searches. There are so many out there. Try to find one that sparks joy for you and try to set aside, even if it's just five minutes a day, to do that de-stressor activity. It is a load off of your shoulders and it is very relaxing. Mm -hmm. 
If you're feeling like you've been cooped up inside the house and you're going a little stir crazy, I think it's important to try to find a new hobby or try to test out a new skill that you can do indoors. For me personally, it was to test out the Russian pipe tips. I've had this kit for a about a year and a half now and I've never used it before so I decided to try it out today. I definitely need practice with it. These are not perfect but it was fun and it's a new skill that I'm going to be trying out and I think practice makes perfect and the beautiful part about being quarantined right now is I have so much time at home to practice these. I mean they came out okay, they didn't come out wonderful but I tried and it was a new skill and I'm really proud of myself. For me, baking and decorating baked goods has always been a stress reliever for me. I mentioned this in my ways to cope with anxiety video. I've always used baking as the way to deal with anxiety. So for me personally, just baking today and decorating made me feel a certain kind of way. So if baking is not your thing, it doesn't have to be. Just try to find a new skill, whether it's painting, whether it's reading a book, writing, whatever it may be. I think it's important that we really give it our all during this time at home and test out those new skills. It's really nice to just sit on the couch and watch Netflix all day. Trust me, we have already watched like three full seasons of shows, but it's also really important to kind of spark your creativity during this time to make you feel like super productive and really just make you feel happy inside. Practice will definitely make perfect when it comes to the Russian pipe tips. I cannot wait to play around with these again and play with all of the other tips. I will also say that my next big project for baking is to try out a three tier cake. I can't flipping wait for that. So I might film that or I might put it on my Instagram, but stay tuned if you're interested. I'm going to try it out. And last but not least, painting. I had this canvas that I had a bunch of writing on. I was using it for a Christmas canvas. I was starting to write out the reindeer's names. And again, while decluttering, I decided instead of just throwing it out, I can totally paint over it and have a lot of fun while doing it. This is also a project that is quite time consuming, which is perfect. I threw some music on again, listened to some more country, and I just painted my little heart away. I was going for a springy, eastery type vibe with this canvas, and I personally think that I acquired it. I'm sure there are people watching this video saying to themselves, that looks like a five-year-old painted it, but that's the beauty of art. It is so abstract. I had a lot of fun painting this, and I think it looks really, really fun, and I think it looks perfect for the season that we are in. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Again, if you have any suggestions of things that we can be doing during the social distancing time, please put them in the comments. I know I would love to read them, and I'm sure the people watching this video would love some new ideas as well. I hope that everybody is well healthy and safe. I also hope that everybody is in a very good mental state right now, physical state and emotional state. Thank you all again so much for supporting me here on YouTube. I hope that you're having a beautiful day and I look forward to talking to you all soon. Bye guys.